Hey everyone, it's Shotzi for the Rough Cuts on Sunday. I hope you all had a great holiday. Sorry that the review is late, but a lot was going on this weekend, as I'm sure is the case for many of you. Anyway, today I'm going to be talking about another film I saw about Numathon, and that is Drive Angry 3D, and this is starring Nicolas Cage. This film, it was... Directed by Patrick Lussier, I think is how you pronounce his last name, it could be completely wrong. And it was written by both Lussier and Todd Farmer, who also together wrote My Bloody Valentine, and it's been announced that they're going to do Halloween 3. This is a very, very campy, grindhouse feel movie. It's, it's, it's more of like a flick. This is something that you would see, you know, just to have fun. They, it definitely does not take itself seriously, thank goodness. And you can see Nicolas Cage just kind of being more and more insane in the, in the roles that he chooses. This is no different. He's crazy. He's, he's just crazy. He's a crazy, crazy man. Anyway, so in this film he plays a man who's escaped from hell and he's trying to prevent the I guess, resurrection of Satan but wait it wouldn't really be a resurrection what he's trying to prevent a satanic cult leader played by Billy Burke who many of you know him from the Twilight Saga he's trying to prevent him from using his granddaughter, Nicolas Cage's character's granddaughter, to raise Satan from hell. So this cult leader has killed Nicolas Cage's daughter, and now he has the granddaughter. So Nicolas Cage has escaped from hell in order to try to prevent this. And another who has come from hell to catch him, known as the accountant, is played by William Fickner. You know, a lot of people just love him. Um, some of you know him from, I think, it's Entourage, also Prison Break. He was an albino alligator. He's been in a lot of different things. And he played on The Bank Manager in The Dark Knight. And he's awesome in this. He's awesome in everything that he does. But you can tell he's really having a lot of fun with this role. And so he has been sent from hell to go after Nicolas Cage and bring him back. Now, along the way... Um, Milton, who's Nicolas Cage's character, he comes across a girl named Piper, who's played by Amber Heard. So she's basically like the looks in this film. And so she is escaping from her life, basically. She finds her boyfriend with another chick. And so she takes off in his car, and this is a perfect car that Nicolas Cage needs in order to hunt down the cult. So they just go on this madcap spree trying to catch this man. And it's just, it's a lot of fun. This is shot in 3D, so it's not converted from 3D. And they had a lot of fun with the 3D. There's a crazy, crazy sex scene in this movie. It's very graphic. This is a graphic movie. So not something you would see, like, take with kids. It's very R-rated. So you've got a sex scene, and I think it's possibly the craziest sex scene ever to be shot, at least in recent time. I think possibly ever. It's insane. And I can only imagine how long it took them to shoot it. But even just for that, just for that scene, it's, it's worth seeing. Definitely go check out this film. I believe it comes out February 25th, 2011. And I think you all will enjoy it. If you really like campy films, a movie that doesn't take itself seriously, and just crazy people having a lot of fun on screen, go look at this. If you're looking for something that's serious and artistic, this is not it by far. By far. So definitely check this out. Great exploitation film. Give it a go. I will see you all next time, and I hope you all have a happy and safe new year, and don't do anything too regrettable. So I will see you, yeah, I'll see you next year. Bye.